What's up my doggies? Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. I'm Khan and today I want to talk to you guys about something that I want you to be on the lookout for in Tarkov and that will make you a better player as you start playing the game and make you more knowledgeable about the game. What this is, is clothing. I want you to start paying attention to what clothes everything you kill or play as is wearing. I've got an awesome group of viewers on Twitch. I'd love to have you come stop by. I've got a Discord with new and veteran players who like to help each other out. And I'm giving away an Edge of Darkness Tarky account to one of you guys when I hit 10k subscribers on YouTube. All the details on how to enter are down below, as well as all my links. Now that I plugged myself super hard, let's jump straight into the video. So there's something in Tarkov that differentiates different factions of players, scavs, and raiders, and bosses, and that is clothing. No clothing is alike in terms of whether or not you're a player, a Yusek, or a bear versus a scav or a raider. If you want to know how high-level players learn these kinds of things and understand, oh, that's a raider, oh, that's a scav, oh, that's a certain boss, that's a bear, or that's a PMC, or that's a Yusek, this is the video for you. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you tell the difference between a raider or a scav? Or how do you tell the difference between a bear or a Yusek? And it all has to do with their clothing. So as you can tell in Tarkov, I am a Yusek. And you can tell this mainly based off my clothing. Sure, it says Yusek, you know, on my player screen. But you can tell whether or not somebody is Yusek or bear based on different clothing choices. Now, this takes a long time to learn. However, if you played the game as much as I have, I understand, you know, whether or not a player is a bear or a Yusek based on the types of clothes they're wearing. No clothes are offered by the same, uh, for the same faction other than the Adidas tracksuit. Now, the Adidas tracksuit for Killa for killing kill a hundred times can be worn by a bear or a Yusek. It's both the same. However, the rest of the clothes are all completely different. So these are all of the Yusek clothing. I'm not going to go through them too slowly, but I'm just going to show you guys all of them. So these clothes are only offered by, uh, by Yuseks. So if you see a, a, sca a player wearing any of the Yusek clothing, you will learn them as you go along in the game. For instance, the Ranger jeans are only offered to Yusek players. So if you see somebody wearing jeans, they are a Yusek. You can also use this to your advantage in terms of telling how how high of a level a certain player is and understanding whether or not they might be super geared or not very geared. So one of the ways that you can tell this is if you can just learn the upper and the lower for the base uh, starting equipment, so therefore an upper body and a lower body for a PMC wearing this is a USEC and they're most likely low level. You can People also use this to fool other people by just wearing the base clothing. Some people don't buy clothing, but if you see a player wearing something like this, they are most likely a low level USEC player as most players usually buy clothing and wear their own kind of clothing. I always buy clothing. It's one of the first things I do. But you can tell the level of a player usually by just looking at their clothes. If you get a glimpse of them while you're looking through a sniper scope, most likely you can see whether or not they're a high level player or a low level player based on their clothes. Same goes for bears. The t-shirt, the contractor t-shirt, is the same for the, uh, is a low level item for the bear. A lot of people wear it at high level as well, but if you get to know the base clothing for both PMC factions, you can tell the difference between the PMCs being high level or potentially low level. Moving on to scavs. So being able to tell the difference between a scav or a player also comes down to clothing. So the scavs all have different clothing. If you take a look at my scav right now, I have the red and white jacket. There is no clothing in the game offered to bear or Yusek that looks like this. So therefore, the 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 jacket, there's also a motorcycle jacket as well. Pay attention to what your scav is wearing when you run your scavs and you can start to understand the scav clothes because that's a good way to tell between a scav or a PMC. If you see them off in the distance, you can tell most, most of the time by the clothing that they're wearing. Scavs wear very specific clothing. Now let's talk about 
raiders. You can also tell the difference between raiders and scavs by the way that they are dressed. So if you're playing on reserve where there's lots of scavs, there's lots of players, there's lots of raiders, the raiders wear a bunch of different stuff than the scavs do. For example, raiders wear these red pants that scavs do not wear, and raiders also often wear these big thick leather jackets. Uh, it might be leather, it's like a soft shell jacket that you wouldn't be able to have on your scav so you can tell whether or not a raider is a scav or a scav is a raider another way that you can tell the difference between raiders and scavs is by their voice lines so all of the raiders in tarkov that are speaking russian will have the bear two uh voice so it's basically a deep deep bear voice whereas the scavs don't have that voice scavs have like a higher pitched uh tone to their voice also, raiders in Tarkov are the only scav faction that actually speak English. So if you hear something say, I see the enemy, or, sorry, my impression is not very good, but I see the enemy, or enemy over there, those are, are raider voice lines. So if you can understand those voice lines and start to learn those voice lines as well as the clothing, you'll be able to tell the difference between raiders and scavs. Bosses all have unique clothing. Killa, for instance, wears his tracksuit. Sturman wears his little parka. Uh, Rashala has a red leather vest. Santar wears a blue jacket. They all have very unique clothing. So what I'm trying to get a point across in this video is you want to start paying attention to the clothing in Tarkov. It's a small, small thing that you need to start paying attention to if you want to become that veteran player. Um, because as you learn the clothing, you'll be able to tell between like I said, PMCs, Bear, Usec, and Scavs, and Raiders. And if you can tell between those different things, it will help you become a more knowledgeable player in Tarkov. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, PvP guides, money-making guides, just general tips and tricks and informational videos like this one, you can always hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And if you like the video, you can always toss me a like. Peace, people.